repeal the health care law last night, House Republicans passed legislation today to begin replacing it. The stated goals are to cut cost, waste, fraud, and abuse, expand insurance coverage, reduce premiums, let people keep the coverage they have, and block federal funds for abortion, a premier and perennial GOP campaign promise. That when there's no public subsidy for abortion, the number of abortions dropped by about 25 percent. If we want fewer abortions, take away the federal subsidy. Not only do most Democrats support taxpayer-funded abortion, they dismiss the GOP's overall repeal and replace promise as empty. This vague resolution stating so-called Republican principles on health care reform is like giving the American people a wish sandwich. There's nothing between the bread, but we wish there was. In fact, specific GOP proposals like medical liability reform and expanding medical savings accounts have been blocked by majority Democrats for five years. Several specific packages are now being reintroduced. One would let people buy insurance across state lines, let individuals and businesses create insurance associations to reduce cost, create high-risk pools to cover those with pre-existing conditions, and make all health care costs 100 percent tax deductible. Georgia Congressman and family doctor Paul Brown. It will be a patient-centered health care uh, system. Patients will own their own insurance policy, so it'll solve the portability problem. It solves most of the problems we have today in health care financing, and we give patients an option of buying low-cost health insurance that they